Imagine what possibilities would be opened if we actually took contact with an extraterrestrial civilization, able to regenerate the surface of the Earth, to increase the potential of renewable energy sources and to spread human civilization through the universe. Imagine if that superior intelligence was only 10 or 2 years away, waiting to get in touch with us. The speculations on the existence of the extraterrestrial life that have been diffused until now lack, however, of that significant response that gives them the right value. And that's why most of the theories that hypothesize the existence of aliens are viewed negatively, with disbelief and sarcasm. Among the organizations working in this field, to demonstrate the veracity of such hypotheses, there is the Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence METI whose main purpose is precisely to get in touch with the extraterrestrials. Its president, Douglas Vakoch, is in fact convinced that contact with aliens is close to coming, at most within 10 to 20 years. However, the skeptics and critics of this and of other organizations that are moving in this direction are not lacking, indeed we can say that they have publicly taken a contrary, if not derogatory, position of the hypotheses that fear probably due to the repercussions that would derive from a similar possibility. One of the most famous academics who criticizes the idea of getting in touch with aliens is Stephen Hawking, who strongly argues that contact with extraterrestrials, their potential and their intelligence could even prove to be a problem for destiny humanity. The coach, on the other hand, argues that the discovery of an intelligent non-terrestrial life would represent an important access key for a correct technological progress where man is groping, often destroying instead of building. A not unimportant premise, because according to the coach, through the contact with the aliens, humanity will have a greater chance of survival. The coach's work on extraterrestrials began in 1960, when our technologies were not as developed as they are now. With the development of engineering and not only the conditions and possibilities of a contact have improved significantly, so as to make a profitable exchange possible, without prejudice to the truthfulness of the existence of life beyond our own in the universe. My impression is that in the next 10 years we will be able to identify extraterrestrials if they are out there and are trying to get in touch with us, he explained during an interview. However, he also said he did not take the warnings of people like Hawking lightly, we may not be more valuable than bacteria for aliens. It is worth noting that Hawking believes we are not alone in the universe, but urges organizations such as the METI not to transmit signals in space that could be perceived as an invitation to invasion, he stressed. Yet, the coach also believes that Hawking does not take into account the fact that we may have already sent signals via radio broadcasts, an extraterrestrial civilization, which somehow approached Earth, may have already identified us. On the other hand we have transmitted evidence of our existence in space with radio signals for 78 years. And even before this, in two and a half billion years we have given the universe a clear signal that here there is life through the oxygen present in our atmosphere. So if there is any alien out there paranoid and in competition with us, it could already come and sweep us away. If they are coming, perhaps it would be a better strategy to show that we are interested in dialogue. For the coach. If we were able to develop the technology necessary to correctly communicate with possible extraterrestrial presences in the near future, we ask disquieting questions. We are ready? Are we really preparing ourselves to face the destiny of our planet? Or is the planet already condemned and we could trigger the fuse when we will be given the only chance of survival?